Hi, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. And as you can see from the weight scale, one pound 13.7 ounces is what is left in this jewelry. Look like very much stuff for all that weight. So we'll have to see <laughs> what is uh, what the weighty matters are in here. So let's adjust the camera down. I'm gonna pour some stuff out. Oh, there, so the jar is now empty. And what does it weigh? Well, the jar itself only weighs four ounces, so one thirteen and one pound nine ounces still left in this of stuff in here to uh, sort through. And I got some tangles and some oh, all kinds of cool stuff. So let's uh, see what we have going on here. Um, a metal bracelet, silver tone. Come, it doesn't want to focus today. Just doesn't. Does it have any marks? It says something in there. Okay, I'm gonna take a peek. Oh, wow. Um, I'm gonna to have to hold it this way, I guess. And you see that says Mexico nine two five. Wow, I would not have expected this to be sterling. I mean, that, that kind of uh, tarnishing on there makes me think it could be. I will definitely have to test this. Yeah, um, let's see what this weighs, because that's a bit of a chunk of let's see. So go to zero here. One point four ounces. Um, there we go. One point four ounces. We switch this to grams. Thirty nine grams of silver. So that's something. Okay, thirty nine grams. One point three ounces of silver. If it's really silver, I'm I'm anxious to test this. That's a, a good chunk of sterling if that's what it is. Wow. What a great way to start the last bit of the jar. Who cares if it weighs two pounds? There's not much in it. So, oh, hey, maybe, I wonder if this, how well this works. I must have put it on the other side here. Um, oh yeah, sort of, you can see that. So here's a plastic pocket magnifier, not a great jewelry magnifier, but interesting. Oh, I'm gonna, Try pulling out. I see a bunch, a bunch of bracelets. So I'm gonna see if I can pull them out. Oh, there's some real cool stuff left in here. Okay. Oh, I see something interesting. So a green plastic bracelet. Um, deep rose pearls, stretchy. The green one has a barrel clasp, uh, plain white faux pearls. So these would be nice together. Maybe he could wear all three together. Three more bracelets. We're getting towards three dozen bracelets maybe. And then these three, the uh, rose gold or what I would call copper cup chain. Three beautiful stretchies. Very nice. Very nice, three more bracelets. Okay, this is picture hanging wire. This is not jewelry wire. This does not belong in a jewelry jar. Take note. This is heavy. This is, no, it's not part of a gun. It is, as we look on the back here, what does it say? BBB. Solid Brass 1979 Baron Buckle, Taiwan. It's supposed to be a belt buckle. I don't know how that actually works. This looks like it's missing part of it. Let's see how much this weighs, seeing as how this part of the jewelry works. <laughs> okay, so that's five ounces. So there's... Uh, that's part of the reason why this part of the jewelry jar weighs so much. What do you do with this? 
I'll have to figure out how the kind of belt buckle works, but that's so heavy. Who wants, well, okay, I know who likes belt buckles like this. Who would wear it? But that's so heavy. Like five ounces? Come on. Come on. I'll put it there with the wire and the magnifying glass. Well, here's a nice pair of earrings. Pierced earrings. Not marked. But nice faux pearls. Great color. Nice swirls of different types of wire around the outside. Well, those are pretty. There weren't that many earrings in this jar. Um, oh, a couple, I see a couple more bracelets maybe. Um, yeah, okay, so this is just black plastic beads on stretchy cord. These are pretty, they're plastic. Again, on stretchy cord. Oh, I don't like the way that feels. It feels like it would break easily. Can we get it to focus? There. So one, two, three, one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bracelets in this third of the jar. There's, um, I think it's wire ribbon that's been coated with something and turned into a pin. <coughs> I don't know if it's meant to have something in the center here. If it is, it's missing. Um, what's this? I, oh, j'aime ringette. Okay, ringette's uh, kind of a cross between lacrosse and... Uh, ball hockey but you have sticks and you have rings that you a ring that you fling around anyway so there's somebody who likes ring up there's another keychain oh this is heavy this is this is an older looking in that it's sort of kind of discolored let me just so these are Beautiful glass beads. They're a little worn. Some of them have little uh, bubbles in them. So I'm not sure how old these are. But beautiful cold glass beads. Nice facets. Look how they're put together at the end here. So that uh, even that bead's a little different. Oh, I see. They're, they're in between. I wonder if it's lost some beads over time. Well, maybe because I just... Managed to break that. Okay, so obviously this needs uh, restringing, but some beautiful, beautiful green glass beads. Not crystal, but definitely glass. Good by the wear of them. They're kind of the way. Have you ever seen depression glass from the 30s? How it's worn over the t over time as people used it and gets scratched and so on. That's what those look like. Another clasp, another, what do we call it? Barrel clasp. But it's whatever it is, it's uh, tangled with something else. So let's see what I can get going here. Um, oh, here's another one of those situations where we got a, something there. What does it say on this side? Nothing. This is that... Um, a tag with the little rhinestone in it, the oval. I've seen this before, but I don't know what it represents. So here's a short um, extender, gold colored chain. Somebody liked what was on here, and I guess we're having challenges with the clasp. So they put a lop uh, put a barrel clasp on the lobster claw clasps, and it's also broken. So maybe I'll come across a pendant. Nice, you know, 18-inch chain. Good. Um, hmm, interesting. Here's another necklace with another barrel clasp. Um, I don't know what if that's just the extender. Oh, same thing. Situation: barrel clasp added to a lobster. These are plastic beads. So a Y-shaped necklace. Silver tone, plastic beads, 
18 inches or so, a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'm curious about, you know, why the, why the lobsters? Okay. Oh, this is a big pin. Alrighty, let's, uh, don't see any marks. Just going to put the pin back inside there because it's sharp and it's sticking out a little bit. So there's the back of the pin. There's just a little strand there. I thought maybe there was a maker's mark, but it just looks like a little loose strand of something. It's the back and there's the front. I think a pearl it belongs in here. Just like it has, just says it. See, it's got the same kind of amount here, um, smaller one. So perhaps repairable. I think I have some big pearls. I mean, not as big as the one that's already there, but something more proportional for that size. So another repair item. Here's another pin. This is a a swirl, an O. Not marked. Good shape, just needs some cleaning. Another pin, not marked. Oh, a little bent out of shape here. That goes in this side, not on the back side. There we go. That's cute. That's a sweet little pin. It's nice, even though it doesn't have rhinestones and stuff. It's got some scratches right there, but that's a nice little pin. What else have we got? Oh, okay, so we had, I saw one of these and I thought earrings, no sweater clip. We had some of these pearls on a chain in the second half of the jar. That's really nice. I need the other half of this. Oh, I hope it's in here. Okay, we'll put it off to the side for a sec. Here's a, a cute little pin, a banjo, with some rhinestones at the tuning pegs and down at the bottom here. No maker's mark. That's a cute little pin though. Not sure if I want to keep that. I don't have one like that, but it's interesting. This isn't a pin, this is an earring. It's the right size for a pin. Uh, no mark. We'll put it off. Maybe we'll find the other um, earring that goes with it. Yes, we do. Okay, here it is. It's just tangled up. So here's a pair of big long earrings in good shape. So there's that's one, two, three, four pair of earrings. So one pair was broken. These I can already see have a name on them. So here's another pair of earrings. Whoa, I like those. Which way do you wear them? Maybe this way? Those are very nice. Um, looks like we're missing some little rhinestones, but I'm not sure how much that matters. Anyway, these are clip-ons. And Those look like the adjustable kind of clips. What does it say inside there? Is that Butler? Yeah. Okay, great. Butler's a nice brand. I'll have to put some information about it uh, in a slide in the video. So one, two, three, four, five, Stone's missing there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven missing on this side. They're fairly small. I think I have a bunch of those. Otherwise, they are they can be purchased relatively inexpensively. Nice butler earrings. Nice.
Um, oh, another pin. This is a, a dragonfly. Oh, very pretty little dragonfly. Oh, it's even got the little short antenna up that a dragonfly has. Nice. Good job. Any marking on it? I don't see anything. Have to focus it again. No, nothing on the back. Um, if you wonder why I always take my glasses off, it's not because I'm nearsighted. It's because the um, my glasses are adjusted for a focal length of about back here where my hand is so that when I'm reading music, everything is clear when I'm singing. So if I want to look in my camera, which is way up here, I have to take them off so that I can focus properly. That's cute. These are a little out of perspective of, but hey, who's complaining? That is cute. I like that. I'm going to probably keep that. Okay, here's another pin. It's got something on the back of it. So it's a, a sword pin. It's got, uh, I'm not is that a, what that kind of knot is called, but I don't know if it doesn't look like it had any rhinestones in the, in the sides, but underneath the pin on the back, it says Scotland. Lovely. I don't know. DB, if that's the maker, DB Scotland. Well, there's Scottish in the family, so uh, we'll keep that. Cute little pin. Oh, I like this stuff. This is fun. A heart pin. Um, it's got something in there. Just some dirt. What does it say on the back? 1995 Anne Clark Limited. Menden, Vermont. I'll have to look that up. I wonder if it's supposed to be pewter or silver or what. It doesn't have a, a silver mark on it. That's a cute pin. Ah, wow, lots of nice little things coming out here. Ooh, look at this cool little ring. It's got bits of shell in it. Um, I'm assuming those are... It's kind of like it's got a like a layer of resin on top. So I'm not sure if those are dyed bits of shell. It's textured on the inside. Don't know how it would shine up. It's oh, seven and a half. Oh, yeah, got over my big nail, <laughs> my big uh, knuckle, I mean, and not, I might not ever get it off. Excuse me while I go away and take this ring off. Okay, Pat, remember, don't put them on so tight. Oh, that's kind of nice, though. Oh, oh, wash my hands again, yet again. I got a bunch of little things here still amazing um, how much was oh look at this this is nice and I only see one of them oh this is a, a cuff link but isn't that nice oh I could repurpose that that's really cool and the the, the pearl part looks really good there's only one that I see. Here is the other side of this sweater clip. 
And I know the other piece of the chain is in the other pile from previously. And no marks. So I wonder, I mean, these haven't been in style for a long time. So I wonder how old this is. I mean, there's no markings. It looks, you know, like a vintage design. It looks like it was barely or hardly ever worn. So who knows? Cool. Oh, I found a pair, another pair of earrings. Wow. It's like the, so there was almost, what, what, what did I say? One pound, 13.7 ounces and five ounces of that. So it was only like five ounces of that was that belt buckle. But boy, there sure is lots in here. Look at these cute little metal roses rose earrings little post earrings sure they've lost some paint but they're adorable those are really adorable here is a pearl what do you want to bet based on where the the glue spot is there that this pearl belongs in there way to go okay so that'll be an easy fix